Gotta stay fresh like a brand new whip that new smell. Switching it up, too stale. They try to text, leaving my mind. All right, guys, new merch drop on our website, cboystv.com. We have a couple of giveaways and a couple of special products that we're really excited about. First giveaway being a brand new CRF 110. We love these things because you know, a 250 pound man could ride it or a 12 year old kid and uh, they're just the best. Also, I think this is the coolest pit bike that I've ever seen. So you have the chance to win this every $5 you spend on anything on the website, it's you entered to win it. The second giveaway that we're doing, this is the first time we've ever done anything like this and it's an honor of just hitting two million subscribers. So we have this two million subscriber special hoodie. Every logo we've ever had on the back here, embroidery on the front, really high quality, but anyone that buys this hoodie gets entered to win a Seaboys weekend experience. So if you win, you get the choice to pick a friend and we're gonna fly both of you guys out, pick you up in the Sprinter. You can drive around in the Lambo, crank Ken, go out on the boat, ride dirt bikes, anything you guys wanna do on the Seaboys compound, we're gonna do it. If you have a YouTube channel, you can film it, shout it out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun that weekend, so we're super excited about that. So if you buy this hoodie, you get entered to win the pit bike and the weekend experience. If you don't buy this, you just get entered to win the pit bike. Either way, pretty good deal. Also, Grandpa Ron was an absolute hit in the last video. You guys loved him, so we made a couple pieces of Grandpa Ron merch. Uh, the dude's a superstar, and any of the money that we make from selling Grandpa Ron merch, we're gonna spend all of it doing something with him. So the more t-shirts we sell, or sweatshirts that we sell, the bigger the budget for the video is gonna be. Anyway, you guys have about seven days to get entered to win the giveaway. And uh, if not, we just appreciate you guys watching the video. So enjoy. We're on our way right now to go make a trade for a new shifter cart. As you guys know, we've had terrible luck in the past. Every single one has been an absolute turd wagon. I found this one all the way in Wisconsin. Supposedly really good. We'll see about that when we get here. But the guy did not want money for it. He said he wanted a pit bike because they're so hard to find. Anyways, I'm gonna trade my pit bike for this shifter car so we can get back to driving these things where they don't belong. The other thing is I think this guy's actually a subscriber. So that's cool because he asked if I'd bring a flight. So the issue with the last probably three shifter carts we've bought is uh, we send Ken to go and pick them up for us. He doesn't test drive them. He doesn't even sit in them. Doesn't even see, start it. Do doesn't even start it and then just gives them the money, picks it up, comes back, and then we're like, oh, this thing doesn't run, or this thing doesn't have brakes, or something is wrong with it every single time. So this time, <laughs> me and CJ just had to be the ones had to, to do it. in the car and go five hours. <laughs> this guy seems to have a lot of toys, actually. Nice CJ. to meet you. Ben. Nice to meet you. So this is the guy right here, huh? See, this thing's got brakes, right? Well, actually, it's got brake bias, so if you want, you can crank front brakes, leave the back open. Oh, wow. You'll be able to do rolling burnouts. Out. Okay. What? This is like the best Burrell frame you can get. So do you just drive this thing around the neighborhood? Uh, until the cops come. I didn't want to give you too much trouble with the neighbors, but I had to at least rip one donie. So it's just a built up CRF 110. If you want to take it for a little test ride. I like it. Feel good? Oh yeah. Sweet. If you're cool with it, I'm cool with it. You got a deal? Deal. Oh, perfect. Like a glove. No way. Sweet. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be good. I think we got a really good deal for once. <laughs> we came out on top there, I think, or at least even. All right, boys, finally got ourselves a proper cart. I've heard that multiple times <laughs> yeah. before. Are you no speaking to you? Want to know the difference between this cart and all the other ones we bought? What? I test drove it. Oh, <laughs> that is. <laughs> Dude, get worried for a second. I know. CJ sucks at warming himself up. I, I'll, I'll say it. I 
say. He doesn't warm stuff up very well. Man, nothing like a good shifter car. It's kind of like driving an F1 car, but if you're poor. <laughs> don't know is we also picked up another shifter cart last week just thought we would have two actually running shifter carts well what do you mean don't speak too soon okay yeah it hasn't <laughs> ran in three years but uh it looks promising this was one of those we send ken to pick it up and he doesn't test drive it and he gets back and goes i don't know it doesn't ran in three years i mean it looks very nice so we got two proper carts we're not entirely sure if they both run but uh we're gonna find out i feel like i spent more time pushing these shifter carts than riding them actually not have been bad carts for once. Awesome. I think Mike's drifts better than mine. I think it does. But you also, you. Huh? My tires are getting hot though. I've been doing a lot of rolling burnies. This yeah, is really was, fun though. It just never gets old. You don't really get to whip that tight of donuts in anything. Yeah, you feel like a like a drift you're pro. In it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in it. You're getting pulled by the back of your seat. And it's just exhilarating. It's really bumpy, and you're just down to the ground. No suspension. It's an absolute wide blast. open. Yeah, and they're relatively cheap. For I mean, I guess you got to find one that actually works. But yeah. <laughs> if you have a pit bike, you can trade it straight up for a nice one. clearance on the gravel. <laughs> it's like these things aren't meant to be on gravel. What was that? I could have stayed back and watched you guys. Oh, no, no, we'll get out of your way. Okay, thanks. <laughs> So last video, my grandpa and I went and did a prank together because he lost a bet. Basically, he had to go and pretend to be a blind man when we went bowling, and it was a massive, massive hit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally, it was, a, it was a hit. He ate shit. He was not supposed to do that, but it, it happened. Luckily, he's okay. Grandpa! What? You good? I don't care. Holy. So anyways, we ended up making his own line of merch in the merch drop, but he does not know that we're doing this, so we're heading over to his house right now. We're gonna go surprise him with it, and I'm sure he'll have some fantastic words of wisdom for us and all you at home. All right. Hello? Yeah, How you feeling? Feeling great, what? what? You remember what happened last week? <laughs> yeah, should we go do that again? <laughs> and I, and this time it'll work better when I slide on my chest down to the pins instead of pulling on my ass. You been reading the comments? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, it's not going to his head, is it? It is. is it? <laughs> oh, no, it is not, it is not. You were such a fan favorite. 
So we made you these shirts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the grandfather. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you guys do well. To make some money, boys. Well, that's the thing. So basically, we're gonna take the money from these t-shirts and we're gonna put it into going out with you and doing like a really fun experience. One idea that we had, we're gonna rent out an entire bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. No way, we're gonna have an ambulance on standby well, this time. So. Jesus. How'd you get that picture from you? You don't remember when you guys were all drunk and we had you wear the suit? No. Look <laughs> on the t-shirt sales. Yeah. Well, you know, good luck to you guys. God. Well, we're all in this together. We're doing this together. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. It works. <laughs> Let me know what you need. You're, you're down to go though, right? Like wherever we take you? Depends on where. Oh, well, how do you feel about China? China? <laughs> we sent Grandpa Ron to Russia with a GoPro. <laughs> oh <laughs> we my! Said, hey, we're not coming with you, but you got a yeah, solo oh, vlog. Yes. This. We're sending him on a trip I'm, of his <laughs> lifetime. I got Ken at my side. I'm safe. Well, I don't know if I say that. Oh, cheers. Let's do it. Okay. Whatever. What are we gonna do? Oh my buddy, want you guys come play golf with us someday? So we'll do that. <laughs> Can we bring our own carts? <laughs> we'll keep you posted. Okay, thanks guys. On everything. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on right now. I'll be right back. I'm gonna give this to you because we talked about this before. Here. A harmonica? It's about 80 or 90 years old. What? Hasn't been washed once. It's been, it hasn't been used. Wait, why me? <laughs> because you're a harmonica, don't you? You might go to jail soon. You're gonna need that. Well, well shit. Thank you, Grandpa. I'm gonna have to start playing. All right, Grandpa. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> You guys later, you're taking uh, yeah. I love you, Grandpa. It's so good, dude. Yeah, so good. Both good. I can't believe he's a real human. Me Honestly. either. It is unbelievable. They don't make them like they used <laughs> they to. They really do. don't. Large Ken loves taking dumps more than anybody I know. I'd say he does it recreationally uh, as a hobby, but if, if he could go pro with it, he 100% would. He'd be like the Wayne Gretzky of taking <laughs> a dump. He's constantly clogging up toilets, and I saw this toilet for sale at the local hardware store, and what sold me is it's engineered to prevent clogs, as well as it could flush an entire bucket of golf balls down in a single flush. I was, Ken needs that. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna surprise him with it by installing this today, but then also taking the old toilet out. We're gonna take that toilet then and build Ken another gift, debatably better than this gift. Cause I mean, you saw how much he loved his last toilet present. No, you did not. <laughs> this is fucking gross. Well, the last two. Where's going? I think he was just mad because there might have been a little present in the toilet for that one. <laughs> Are we putting this in? What do you mean? Do you not have to? We're gonna figure it out. This is for Ken. It's tough finding something that Ken's passionate about. <laughs> so as you can see, this toilet right here this is a late model, probably from the 90s. They weren't taking shits like nowadays back then. <laughs> I mean, believe me, it's got a plunger next to it for a reason. God, this thing is gross. Yeah, bro. Okay, so. What you gotta do? Yeah, CJ, tell me. What you gotta do? I know what I'm doing. Plunger? You push the rest of the water down the pipe. Ken's even blowing out the plungers. You know what? You can call me and CJ a lot of things, but you can't call us bad friends. You can't call us plumbers. <laughs> or that. <laughs> Grandpa Hunt's calling me right now. What up, Grandpa? Hey, what's up? Ah, uh, nothing. Just surprising Ken with a new toilet. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Oh, good. You're a star, you know that? Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> no, I'm so curious. God. Well, if we have any trouble with this toilet, I'll give you a call. Oh, yeah, my. Talk to you later. Yep, see you later. Bye. You guy's the best. He's loving it. We got to get him in more videos. Comment down below if you want to see him in more videos. You don't want to see down there. <laughs> What's funny is it looked brand new before we moved in. Oh, my God. Whew. Yep. Right in the middle. Is this thing breaks his roof? I don't know how much it's gonna cost. Oh, a Tesla roof? Yeah. A lot. Probably a total the car. Three, two, one. Oh, Give it one. Yep. <laughs> My God. <laughs> That's what a Tesla spoiler looks like, huh? I don't want to speak too soon, but I think he's gonna love it. Yeah, I mean, he can shit on the road now. You think he's gonna like it, Ev? No, I don't think he's going to at all. Which part? I mean, the fact that we were probably even within five feet of his car. Doesn't trust us? Why would he? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's a good point. Oh boy. I got a present for you. It's a nice present. It's a very nice gift and it's two of your favorite things. I'm combining both of them. I've got a feeling I know what it is. I have a feeling you don't. <laughs> It looks pretty nice though, doesn't it? White no, that white? does not look nice. You don't like it? <laughs> no. Can we take it off? No, it's, totally it's there. suctioned on. Ugh. Being that the roof is glass, it should be pretty durable. You think someone would be able to sit up there and take a shit? No, please don't. If you had to shit bad enough and you're driving down the road, would you consider pulling over and sitting up here? I've done this before. I've gone on the side of the road and just squatted. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm just curious because you are a chronic shitter. Look at the smile on this guy's face. <laughs> Ken gets pulled over and he's like, oh man. Cop comes up and goes, I gotta take a shit so bad. <laughs> Scared to hold this thing right now. Oh, oh. oh! oh that's too fun. Oh. Don't try that at home. We're trained professionals around here. No! Oh! No! <laughs> Ken's not good at dirt biking, let alone basketball. This ain't for him. All right, we're playing pit bike basketball. All right, gentlemen, I want a clean game. No top I'm not sure if we followed uh, classic basketball pit bike rules, being that it was probably 90% demo derby, 10% basketball. But that was a good time. I can't believe everyone made it out without stitches or a broken bone. I'd say that was such a win. Forget the game, no one's hurt. I know, right? <laughs> Evan, you're sweating. That was the most physical activity I've done in months. I gotta admit, Ken, I wouldn't say you're the best basketball player or pit bike rider, but you did pretty good at pit bike basketball. Yeah. It's it just combining like a little bit of both. <laughs> Sorry about your foot, Ken. Yeah, that hurt. It's gonna burn out on it. How my shoe? Whip that new smell. Switching it up, two step. They try to text, leaving my bread. Switching the phone, new cell. Secrets I kept, do tell. We had a fight, tooth nail. This is a race. I know my place. Coming for first, blue shell.